Also, right. his we, item list we, is we, they, The players have started. Items. Sorry. All right, so I'll be right back, guys. See ya. So it's just me and you, baby. Dude, we don't even Ooh. need to cast it at this point. Nine isn't here. Who's gonna snitch? <laughs> Dude, you can sell out for whatever you want. Dude. Dude, Is look, he's got track be... payday, but he has CP. Well, at least it sounds like he has a healthy flow. Yeah, holy shit. Um, so yeah, Five track more. payday. This is unfortunate because he's got no way to get this off. Obviously, he's going to put it right here because it's his best shot to get the kill, but... He needs hip fire or pick offs. There's three of each in this deck, so he's he's got a good chance to land him right here. This relentless pursuit on the Luna. Yeah, that's huge. super super valuable. Barbosa has the hand, but not the setup. Because he's sitting. Oh, yeah, see, he doesn't get it. Oh. And considering there's no bounty proc, he goes for the nasal go instead of the kill on the Luna. Although, killing Luna before that eclipse charge is just such a big deal. She wouldn't have been able to get the ignite down either. Yeah, but I mean, he knows it's 100% dead though yeah this kill on the lich is just such a such a huge deal gets the track off so now he's in a position to payday even if he paydays for not as much gold as he would like he has the m1 for me in hand it's not it's not looking horrible for barbosa but he's he's definitely losing too much of the board right now for comfort no yeah, i don't know why barbosa's like so in love with bue con ever since B the acs started he's playing it all the time in price too yes just don't That's think it's good in the meta Now that's an interesting hand right here. Pulls Iron Fog. Decides not to agree and go straight for that uh, payday. I think I agree with that. Yeah. Because he has the ammo for me in the hand and he wants to play it next turn as soon as possible. We'll probably see a TP right here, or the card pulled, then the TP, I'd say. I think he'll want to save Lich, considering his hand. Yep, there he goes. Nothing to play here for Barbosa, he's just got to pass. <clears throat> So Ty not really going to be able to comfortably go into the lane that he likes him to. Elects to go for the Fountain Flask instead of another Blink. He's just going to want to make his heroes harder to kill. Knowing he has a Tyler set up in lane 1, he can double deploy in the first. Can't get annihilated. But let's see what Barbosa pulls with this money. If it's a Vesture, he can start out with Vesture. But if it's... N oh, but, you know, even if it... uh is horn he's not worried about coup de gras anymore so that's the one maybe disadvantage here it is vesture he pulls yes. two of them he has the end one for me no one will he puts it down it's quite possible he holds initiative here if he gets to keep it because then he can go for the other vesture in mid and maybe get a multicast off on it Yeah, 
when you go that greedy in this situation and in this matchup. <clears throat> I mean, is it that greedy though? Because you already have the with the vesture on right here. You have second vesture, so you're not losing anything. So I don't think it is greedy. Oh. There you go. See, now he doesn't have initiative and he's going into magic. Yeah. What, what did so I feel like, if anything, this was greedier. No. See, look at that. Now the Vesture is going to come down and it's going to be a little bit too late. How's it looking, boys? Oh, pretty, uh, pretty good for Raz, I'd say. I don't know. He just got double Vesture, which is nice. It's going to be triple Vesture now. But the thing about it is that you can't really retake the board with the vestures. You needed horns here to actually put your own win condition on the table. Mm -hmm. Ooh, plenty of uh, annihilations in hand, though. Yeah, but the double vesture is just going to be great. Yeah. Oh, he does not take initiative back. Why not? Is that a blunder from Raz? I mean, he has two Krakens in hand and a, and a giant. Oh, but this lane one is still on five mana, so he doesn't need it. I think I'm speaking much too soon here. Hmm. It feels correct, yeah. Yeah, he'll need that initiative next turn, for sure. Nine, what are you eating? Tell me, I'm hungry. <coughs> I'm eating pasta, man. Yeah, that's so much better than what I'm eating. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So, yeah, it applies the PA. So, do you think he annihilates anyway? It doesn't feel like he needs it, really. Oh, he can't, obviously. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I'm also not paying attention. Sorry. Um, I think you start with the Vesture, and then you have a gank play onto Axe in mid. Then after you do that, he'll probably blink over. But if uh, you should be safe to... Uh, you're safe to chain for Austin first, and then even if he blinks over and takes initiative, you've got uh, a Vesture over there. So it's not the end of the world, and you've got double Vestures right here. Sure. So as long as he doesn't lose less in a horrible way, then... That plan should work out. Oh, but elects to go... See, I'm not sure how I like this, because now he's opened up the Chain Frost. He does lose... I mean, obviously, the, the Luna is fine, so it's not the end of the world. I think he just wants to but vesture I... the two blue hairs? It's possible, but I think you want to just deny mid... Uh, even for the one for one hero trade, you have the hero coming back next turn while he is stuck at the fountain. Or he's stuck with nobody at the fountain. I guess he might be wondering if there's a spring, because if there's a spring into Hmm. If there's a spring into mid. Yeah, he might just be waiting on Rest to spend mana. He still has a hip fire. If he can wait out a Kraken shell, he can vesture into the hip fire, which would be max value. Yeah, but there are two Krakens, though. True enough, true enough. But if we see the Chain Frost, that won't come into play. However, Chain Frost probably killing PA as it stands. Doesn't feel like a great lane to Chain Frost here, though. I mean,. Especially when I've got two Kraken shells to take initiative as well. Let's see what happens. Well, oh, there's a grace. But now we've lost uh, initiative, <laughs> the initiative yeah. ability to. Yeah. Alright, so. Well, Rez was way better set up to keep initiative there in any case. So it becomes a matter now of uh, how much damage can he do with it? Well, he doesn't have a duel. All he has is enough magic, which is nice, but 
he just gets annihilated the following turn. He does have a Relentless Pursuit now yes. in hand, which can take care of it. And so now do you drop Jaspers here to try and deal damage to the tower? Yeah, uh, that would push 8 to the tower. Um, I think maybe you pass right now, though, because you want to get an initiative card out of him. You have two of your own. You've also got two heroes here. So you wouldn't mind getting them out, uh, getting one of them out at least. Hmm. Yeah, Rez has to be really careful here. If if Barboza manages to get all those vestures down and then just annihilate, it's going to be absolutely brutal. Yeah, and that annihilate will give him tons of money in order to get those horns that he's still kind of craving right now. Mm -hmm. And Raz goes for that pass. He's going to make him work for it. Yeah, and we see the fire. Yeah, drop a creep, drop the jaspers. I feel like. He's probably going to put tide mid. Yep, there's that jaspers for the tower damage. Oh, that keeps tide where he is. Okay. Seems confident enough that he can take mid as it is. Hits his half. Barboza on six gold. Don't expect him to find anything relevant there. Yeah, and it looks as if he's not going to be doing anything besides that relentless pursuit over to mid. Once he does that, he has the TOT in the bag there, and there will only be uh, the bounty to stop him. Chain Frost, even if he pulls it, going to be pretty useless. Doesn't get it. Yep, and he leads with it. Mm -hmm. How many clips charges are we dealing with? Is he open to this? Six. That's six? Yeah, that's a kill. Now there's a smash oh. into Kraken as well, if he wants. He doesn't have blink, so at this point I think he might as well go for the clips, because mid is a lost cause now, you know? You just lost it. You still have the Vesture in last. He's doing the math. But yeah, it seems like uh, what you're suggesting is correct. And then Raz will still have the, op the option to blink dagger one of those two heroes away if he wants. This huh? guy says you don't need one con if you're in back each turn. After playing this deck for a long time, I, I gotta tell you, I strongly disagree with that. <laughs> uh, you can't win with just the vestures. Like at some point, you need to put a win on the table, and that that's what he's gonna need to do. I think he needed the eclipse to make some more money, so that he could do that. Yeah, vestures is just a very defensive item. You know, it will turn offensive in some occasions, as in the annihilation scenario, but. A Luna hits for three, like it's not. It's a game defining item, not getting around, but. Yeah. You can put the vesture down and make him work for this. Oh, chooses to go for the mm. coup. This card's a salve, so not too bad. Takes the TOT value off the table, but he's still kind of looking at it in last lane, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. There's still the spring as well, if he wants to. <clears throat> or you could just duel, I guess. What he really needs now is Blink, so they can get Blink onto Luna next turn, because he only has one blue hero uh, for these three lanes, and it's trapped in his winning lane right now. So if he can pull that Blink for next turn, get the Eclipse off, and then Blink with Vesture into where he needs to go, he should be in a pretty good spot to even contest this lane right here, mm -hmm. the way it stands. Yeah, see, that Vesture's going to make him work for it even more. Yeah, why didn't he just duel? Yeah, duel would have taken it. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Well, in any case, it looks like he's still in a good spot. It, yeah, Barbosa needs a blink right now. He needs to hold initiative. He needs to pull his blink. He has Eclipse, even if uh, some creeps come in there, he should be fine. 
And he's just he's simply gonna have to pull Eclipse in lane one, plink over to mid, and blow it up. It still feels like all of this comes down to that decision to not vesture the um, the PA into gank, like you kind of hinted at before. Yeah, I really think that would have forced this, the um, Because it would have been a completely different scenario. Even if the PA dies, she comes back, and then mid would have been denied. Somewhat, yeah. at least. Well, double vestures coming in means if he wants to really, really stop what's going on in lane 3, he can. And let's see if Barboza hits a blink. It looks like he pulled Jaggers into nothing. Feels bad, man. I never know if I should trust the items that show up because often, like, it's bugged out or something. But yeah, that seems to be the truth. Yeah, he's fucked. GG. So Eclipse here will give him the lane, but from there, what do you do, really? Those pickoffs also not looking stellar right now. Me calling GG is me trying to give him a chance to win the set. <laughs> yeah. By jinxing it. Opposite. Oh, now he ganks? Come on, bruh. What about last turn? Why not do that last turn? Well, he has to have a good idea that there's a couple of blinks in Raz's hand. Oh, well, of course, at this point in the game. So I imagine we're going to see that Tide blinking back. This Bristol is going mid. Is he, though? Yes, he is. <clears throat> it still doesn't look like it's locked out, but it certainly is looking grim for Barboza. Alright, taking your tower damage. I kind of like that. I mean, Bar we ha Barboza has given enough hints that his black cards in hand aren't that good. Yeah. I mean, at this point, any card besides Annihilation is just a hot mess, you know? So... Yep. I mean, you really just want to be blowing, blowing the lane out. That ogre kill, sitting two turns out and just not getting blink. Like, look how L Luna is set. She's got the vesture. She's got the eclipse charges. She's got everything. She's just trapped in lane one. These black heroes, they have vesture. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that hurts. You need, you need both of those. There's no ifs, ands, or buts <laughs> about it. You needed both. I mean, there was still a slim chance that he could lock out uh, the game a few turns by Annihilation and Eclipsing, but that hurts, for sure. Hmm. Standard Bear could add some damage here, another three at least. I guess you'll take that. So pressure on all three lanes. I mean, it it, it sucks to fight against three uh, vestures, but he's got so much pressure, so much, so spread out. Yeah, and this is why he needed some sort of win condition on the board. It's yeah. just been a ticking time bomb this whole time. Yeah, yeah like what's what's he doing other than delaying? That being said, with this deck, all you have to do is win one lane, sack another lane, and then save the third lane. So, I mean, if he can save that lane three right now, buy some horns. For, I mean, he's, he has the Eclipse right here. That the item, though, there's no way he can kill Baby unless he does it across two turns. Still, he's out of dual range. So he will not be able to be killed here. There's nothing in Raz's hand that can give him the kill. All 
All right, so three eclipses, foresight annihilation, and a useless Jasper daggers. So let's see. Working with very, very small margins here. And yeah, the duel ain't enough to kill the Luna, but if it were, this tower would be basically dead as well. Takes 10 damage anyway, like, still a lot. Oglody doesn't deal piercing damage. I love watching Oglody deal one to the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he's giving it his best shot, you know? Putting well, all of his effort in there. Yeah, Raz threatening the lethal here, so... Barboza, bro, you gotta do something. He's wondering, do I kill a creep? Do I pay they? Do I do both? I mean... I think you, I think the move is payday, dude. You know, like you need those horns right now. But I think it, it had to have been payday into. Well, he doesn't have a gank, and look, he's set up right into the. Well, he is holding on to gank. Yeah, he just didn't use it, but. He doesn't even need the Tide Stun because he can just Berserk and take the tower. That's a sight to behold, Tithe killing stuff. <laughs> now, once, once again, he has to pull Blink. If he pulls Horn into <laughs> Horn, he, it's, it is, even with 51 gold, it is very possible to miss Horn with this deck. Or miss, miss out on your Blink Daggers with this deck. And even considering it, it looks like he might not even have the chance to Blink over to lane 2. Well, let's if, see. Uh, oh, but he, he's going to need uh, enough magic or something like that because he still cannot oh, kill Luna. Raz gets the helm. Oh, <laughs> as I say that, no, no, he can kill Luna. Double the, horn. Ouchies. Does he really pull double horn? Are you serious? Yep, double horn, and he's got a one for me as well. That sucks, dude. Double horn is so bad. <laughs> you need blink. Ogre died again. That's unbelievable. It's been a very sad ogre. And Raz commits onto first, trying to throw Barbosa away. Oh, and then another TOT. Jeez, you can TOT for days here. And that's gonna be that, so I. Like... Yeah, that's just GG. Yeah, that's just Those GG. Horns just sitting in hand right yeah. next to the N1 for me. So sad. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just too many options. TOT is still available, Helm still available, Face Boots. <clears throat> oh, you're getting berserked. <laughs> <laughs> Babooey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? <clears throat> oh, that's, that's sad. <laughs> so that's Raz. Sad see, <laughs> it is. So that's Raz getting up on the board with his uh, red black lich concoction. Um, Worked out well for him. Very solid. <clears throat> that makes that makes Raz's options uh, slightly more constricted. So he's able to play mono red, mono blue control, and blue green ramp. Uh, and obviously Barbosa still able to play his uh, all of his decks. But um, yeah, Raposa came in with a plan. He insta registered, so not even giving it much thought, just going for it. Uh, I think you're give, giving Barbosa too much credit there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right.
Just admitting something. It's like... Well, why did you kick the announcers, the, the commentator? They are actually not casting, and um, I, <laughs> I, I, yeah, and I, I agree. Raz told me if they are not casting, he doesn't want, to, he would prefer not to have them there. So, and I agree. Like, if they're not casting, they should not be in the lobby. Um, <clears throat> this is AFK. Sorry, who's AFK? Ah, oh, those that, guys. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they they were. They asked they asked me if they could stream in Russian, and I said, of course. But um, yeah, just another layer of admining on top of all the rest of the bullshit. Oh man, Raz, Raz, right in his head. <laughs> My God, man, Raz is really good at this. I'll say, like, dude, I, dude, I called it. I said three zero, dude. Dude, he plays the format, man. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing you could do if you, if you're not ready, with you know your format. Cause look at this, dude. It's not just mono red. He's sitting on uh, a Tresdens and s triple smashes. So hmm. that's pretty good in this matchup. This is gonna be a tough uphill battle. I mean, Barbosa is gonna have to high roll this or play really well. Raz has been one of my favorite players, um, I'll say. So far? Yeah, I mean, it's just nice that he's actually playing the format, you know, to his, the best of his ability. And I think he's going to be rewarded. His hand looks pretty nice. Those two primals are a little awkward, but he gets that curve out with the 2 4 5. Barbosa's hand, awkward as ever, but he has the payday. Oh, and there's the proc. That's crucial. Absolutely crucial. He's getting better. He's getting better. <laughs> Still a little bit more work to do. Uh, I think. I mean, for all. Watch. He's gonna buy that face. For for all. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. I think we're 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 taking credit away from Barboza. Like he's a good player. <laughs> yeah, he is. I'm just saying. I'm surprised he didn't buy that. <laughs> It does have a tendency, but let's say also the last time you guys criticized that, I think he then he won it, didn't he? I mean, I'm just waiting for play of the day by Barbosa. You know, one of his <laughs> signature moves. What's his in mono? What's his signature mono black move? Though? I don't secret know. Chop. Buying random items when yeah. he yeah secret shop items when he has payday. Yep. No regard. Mm. <laughs> Watch. Well, let, let, let's let's see how this payday gets used. <laughs> let's see. Oh man, you guys are so biased. Fuck me. I, I told you I'm not wow. biased. I just I I know the outcome. The three O. What? How much do you donate to the ACS if it's not a three O? I mean, now that you are rich and like a famous Twitch streamer. Wait, I'll see what's in my pay. I'll give you all that's in my PayPal. That. Well, is that does that include maxing your credit card then? I don't have a I don't have a bank account, dude. Why do you think I didn't donate? <laughs> how how do you have a PayPal account without a bank account? It, right? It's it's all from Twitch. Okay, I have twenty three dollars and forty three cents, dude. All right, great. I'll donate it if it's not a three O. Barboza, please win. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, someone's gotta stand up for this dude. Wait, what did he gank? The beast master. Hmm. Okay. Preposterous. So I assume we're I... not gonna be seeing a payday this round? I see. Maybe yeah, he's me, or was that gank really desperate? It's desperation, man. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> like there is even a five gold item in. I know Francis that's what man. I was gonna say. You're you're looking at a five cost item, unless you're playing against fan. I don't think that's a really good idea. 
you know. So do you think it was correct to hold the face boots for last, or would you have taken the kill with the bristle there? I mean, you want to um, deny the gold, so... Yeah, in this matchup, you think about denying your opponent a lot more than... Oh, the curve. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. But yeah, um, when you're playing against mono black, shutting down their uh, benefit is <laughs> always better like than benefiting yourself. Oh, he gags. <laughs> I mean, he, he has to at this point. He knows what's up. Hmm. But look at Rez's hand now, dude. Have you seen a more depressing hand? No. What's he gonna do with that? And there's a march in Barbosa's hand. Yeah, the march is gonna shut down those pillagers no matter where they go. Unless he plays the march prematurely. So but I don't think I don't think he would do that. I think Barbosa's smart of that. It's not like he has a good placement for it anyway. There's no like tempting lane or so. He gets the duel and the bear. Okay, so this hand's looking way, way, way better for Raz now. And Barbosa desperately needs to hit this payday. He can't go another round without generating anything else. But then it still remains like, oh, let's say he pay this up to 30 gold or even 40, whatever. What does he, what, what does he get that is going to turn this game around? Is horn enough? Mm, you need a lot more than horn. You honestly need like your big three items. You need all of them. Well, he paid it straight up from lane one. Wants to make sure he gets it. Yeah, fair enough. We're opening up for the pillager to come right down. And mm -hmm. when the march comes down in this lane to shut down the pillagers, it's not going to have any other amount of value. So yeah. he's enforcing that the march comes down where he wants it to. It might That's have... Really Sorry. I was going to say it might have value because there's three smashes in Raz's deck. <laughs> So it might still generate some value, <laughs> just not for him. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Um, that's pretty funny. The pillager is going to die, so the AT threat via pillager will be contained. And now so we Raz enter... Takes play in three to shut down a potential second payday. Um, so that's why he held the initiative and didn't take the phase boot swap on Axe in mid. Alright. Barbosa stares down the Jaspers and the Cloak and the Cloak and the Blink. So no huge items. I'm wondering how much of an impact oh, these goes. items are gonna have. See, there's no. I'm sorry. There's there's no reason to buy that Blink. Not when you have a hero for all three lanes and you didn't pull any big items. The Cloaks are nice, but you shouldn't have bought that Blink. I'm telling you, the, the dude doesn't give a fuck when it comes to the secret shot. <laughs> or his shot. Like. See, look, the pillagers get destroyed, but look at everything else just getting tickled by the marsh. Just, just tickled. He's got Jaspers for the disarm. Yeah, and Barbosa's at the point where he has to start cooing into losing boards. Mm, he really that has. Is not, that is not a good look right here. No, but there's no other way for him to get back in this, really. I don't understand why he didn't blink there. Like, you might as well blink out if you're already putting down the... Uh, the and the axe down. doesn't even die, god. Yeah. Even with the prop. Nine? What are you writing in chat about me, dude? People ask you if you were commenting, dude. I am. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Screeching my... I, I am, dude. It was tired earlier. because the chat they... can't even tell. <laughs> I'm talking, am I not? Sure, earlier dude. again, dude. I didn't eat in 24 hours, dude. Hey, but I was, still was here, dude. Sheet. Unlike baby. I, I just yep. got done doing a graveyard shift, okay? I got off work. Eight-hour okay. shift, like... 
Yep. Like four hours ago, bro. You see me complaining? Huh? Are she? Some people. Yeah, that's on. one day, dude. On, I streamed for need, 24 hours, we a, man. We need 110 percent from you right now, Rashid. I am, dude. I'm and giving it my own. Some but some esports. Listen, right listen, now. listen. Some esports have hypecasters, and we I'll have Rashid. The the. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> hyped, don't worry. He clicked the button, dude. He passed back. He took the damage, dude. Holy shit! That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, I should I keep doing that all day? This veil, though. <laughs> Fat value out of this veil. Uh, right, Dude, there's just too much back. resource on the board. Yeah, for sure. These boards are so wide. Oh, still goes for that? Bruh. It does prevent some damage. Uh, Curiously, you the thing you the thunk that the that Barbosa's towers would be lower by now. Unfortunately look, for him, if he didn't buy that blink. He could look at a nineteen card. Oh, and there the fuck oh, it is. Yeah, there the fuck the it is, did. dude. And look at first lane. Oh my god, dude. I'm just saying. If like right there, didn't hmm. buy the blink, could have had him. That's how it goes, boys. That's right. how it is with this with this deck. You gotta be very, very careful about what you buy. Because of that. Like, he still would have had the Jaggers for this tide stun. You know, he still could have threatened it. But now? He's halfway up Schick's Creek without a paddle, my boys. No paddle. Um, pulls the TOT for next turn. Can I call it nine? Yeah, listen. Yeah. <laughs> Rashid is gonna jump in. <laughs> Listen, Rez's hand was super heavy in the early game, and the early game and mid game actually went really well for him. So naturally, now that we reach a late game, Barbosa hasn't gotten any traction at all. I I don't see it. He needs a miracle. Oh, and he's just he's. He's just cooing for the lowest value ever, you know? What does well, he actually get out of that right now? Goes up to There's 20 gold. There's two coming back into TOT. He's got to sack this creep. What can he draw? Payday? No. Tyler said. Payday would be huge. Yeah, payday would have given him a line to maybe get back into this. Maybe. Yeah, 20 gold is just simply not enough. He can get that helm again, I suppose, but... I mean... Oh, he needs a chain frost for this, and he doesn't even have that. That just sucks. Okay, this brings him to horn. Get yeah, horn here. That's not bad. Alright. Let's just start. But uh, yeah, I mean, with Raz's hand, we're just gonna see his heroes get pushed everywhere and TOT's finishing lanes up. Raz That's set the oh, worst thing. TOT with yeah. with triple blink blink dagger. Ugh. Yeah, this TOT is gonna be huge. Got initiative triple as well. Blink triple heroes with the initiative, and you know that two coups have been played. <laughs> You Come know, on, Barbosa. I'm just saying. Come on, Barbosa. Give me Rash's subs money. <laughs> There's the chain frost. Now officially worthless. Would have been good last turn. Now it's doo doo. Triple blink, man. I'm sorry. Can I call it? It's fucking over, dude. I think you can call it, yeah. Yeah, about fucking time, dude. Oh, sorry, do I need to be a hype? Oh my dude, he dragged the button onto the board, dude! Oh, the three man TOT! <laughs> the three man TOT, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. So, the, the other the thing ball. about this matchup is even when it looks that bad. This is the reason you want to hold your coup de grace, is because uh, 
Normally in other matchups, your assassinates will be more valuable than your coup de grace, but when you're going against red, the TOT takes him out of assassinate range, and then coup de grace is the only thing in the game to stop him. So ideally, you want to save the coups, mm -hmm. wait for the time, and then even keep waiting after that, and wait out the blink daggers. And then this right now would be the perfect time to keep yeah. But listen, uh, Barbosa, <clears throat> okay, we didn't generate a lot of gold, but the the one pay that he had was for 16. And I, I'm, I'm always have, I always have mixed feelings about these low paydays where I just don't know. I Sometimes I feel if you don't have any other gold generating cards, maybe you have to be slightly more, like slightly it's greater. on the deck he was just playing because you haven't won for me. But um, it's funny because he got that low payday into the... Uh, Vesters with the uh, and one from his last game, but he ended up losing because of uh, the multicolored in his deck and not being able to play the cards where he needed. Now he has the opposite or the same problem, but uh, no way to play around it. And he said, Oh gosh, he's putting vandals into this lane that just feels so bad. Yeah, what is he gonna do? He has to do it, <laughs> he has to. It has to protect three lanes at the same time. That's, I mean, that puts a huge drain on your resources. Yep, and if he uses his final Jasper Daggers here, he'd be pretty much left with nothing. Well, Lich can clean last lane now and keep initiative for him. Question is, what the hell can you do with that initiative? Two gold, even. Ugh. Yeah, two gold. So you have to absolutely sack one of the lanes and go for the other. Might as well TP PA right now. It will give her a full heal. I'd say that's probably worth it. But look at these towers for Raz. I mean, this tower is at 40. He hasn't even touched it. Uh, this has been a very one-sided match. But hey, this is why Mono Black hates the Mono Red decks, right? I mean, if if you get off on the wrong start... <clears throat> Perfect bounce, though. I like that. Nothing, though. Left straggling at one health, so that's good. There's a helm staring he, down in his face again. He panicked Kudgrad. Is, is that actually... That's actually the... The worst thing that's happened so far in this game. So he had two of them. Those two Kuda Grouse could have actually saved him if he had used them a little bit more patiently, but that's much easier said than done when you're just mm -hmm. facing so much pressure in all three lanes, you know? Well, it was also the fact that he could at six because it's set up for a really amazing TOT in lane one. Yeah, yes, exactly. So when you kill red heroes on six, you come back on eight. If you don't have Tether State down, you're gonna have a bad time. Oh well, yeah, and just by accident there were three bl blinks in Raz's hand, which he hasn't actually needed. But look at this. Oh. Okay, that's the third Q that can save mid for a bit. He's still sitting on the blinks. You know? Mm-hmm. The blinks are just checkmate. Gosh, Ooh. I can't believe we got all three of them. Because here, there's still the Call of the Wild, there's still Primal, there's still Berserkers. Out goes the Vestures. And Raz knows that there's no movement on that hero. No blink equipped, five gold item in hand. So yeah, uh, feels like Raz is playing with his food. Uh, that's not in Raz's personality, though. No, I don't mean that. I don't mean to imply that he's uh, bad mannering or so. Like it's just he's so ahead. Like it, the sequencing and the plays in the mics became become somewhat irrelevant. So we could see a phase boot, so we could see <clears throat> that's just enough damage to end this tower, and 
no way at all for Barbosa to kill the Bristol in mid. So Berserker Skull is gonna be is gonna be the end of the game. Man. I'm telling you, Raz is just too good at the man. Perhaps the deck's hand he knows what you're gonna play. Did plays that, that good matchup in you. I can't type shit up, it's 3 0. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a 3 0. But hey, Barbosa does best when everybody thinks he's about to lose. So. Yeah, well, that's the thing about Raz, dude. He's smart, dude. He doesn't. Right. <clears throat> he thinks it through, dude. Put it like this Raz is now down to mono blue and blue green ramp, right? Do you know what's good against that? Mono black? Mono black, which Barbosa has got two copies of, and he still got his blue black econ because he lost with it, so. Um, so it, you have to win three matches. There could do you, be, do yeah. you lead with mono black, or do you lead with one of the other decks? And uh, I think you lead with mono black. It's good against both of those decks, right? <clears throat> Fair enough, yeah. So I don't think it's that unthinkable that Barbosa could put up a comeback strictly from the matchup perspective, but uh, we'll see. I mean, at the end, Mono Black is just such a such a like a RNG don't deck. This if you isn't want. any Mono Blue deck, right? It's the same as the one he had against me. Well, let's see what he chose. So Barbosa is on Mono Black. Raz is on his Storm deck. So. Yeah, let's see how that goes. How do you guys feel about that matchup, particularly? I feel like... I don't know, I, I haven't played enough my... Although... I, the black deck can kind of struggle against... Uh, um, combo decks, because a lot of times, even if you get your gold generation off, you can still get comboed. So yeah. you need to have those control cards to actually shut down the combo. and. Uh, worry more about their game plan Ooh. than yours. Would you look at that iron fog into Pede? That's a start, baby. That's a start. And there looks like there's an ogre dying, but he can. He's got compelling coming plan, so he's got options. All right, all right. Hopefully, we got a bit of a closer match, as both previous games were slightly one-sided. So guys, if you want to see Rashid donate all his PayPal credits to the <laughs> ACS, uh, you know, root for Barbosa. And if you want to join in, you can also donate to the ACS because that would be super cool. We're almost at 200 euros, so not shabby. It's more than a lot of Valorant tournaments I've seen. Oh. <laughs> Dude. You know what else it's more than? Like every Runeteric tournament combined so far. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, dude. Can't say I'm like, paying attention to that. Are there no tournaments for Rune there? No. Dude, no, there's totally not. What the hell? It's deader than Artifact, dude, if, you, if you're looking at tournaments. <laughs> well, I feel like my mission here is done if, if that's the case. Dude, I'm serious. I don't even think there's been 170 euros. That's cool. No, there's the combined probably... tournament Dude, so far. So like the biggest tournament so far was like for what thirty dollars? Yeah, dude. The They're like fifty maybe. The big 50, I think I think fifty bucks. I think it's fifty dollar pop, but the pool's thirty bucks. All right, so this round is actually looking pretty nice for Ra for Barbosa. Two heroes look like they're dying. There's potentially an ignite kill, upkeep kill on the bounty here. But uh, other than that, Barbosa's getting stuff done. Let's put it like that. Update he gold. Has all the tools he needs to win this game. He's just gonna have to play his shot properly and uh, not get too greedy. And uh, even if he gets his gold, he still has to focus on the combo. 
more than his own game plan. He's got the hip fire here. He's taking his sweet time to decide whether to do that. And he does. Not a huge tower hit, but he'll take the five. And off comes the first payday up to 30 gold. So let's see if he hits something big. Do you actually prefer to hit something big here or just hit cloaks? Um, hold on, I gotta take a look at the board. I'd rather take the cloaks, um, personally. But I think you're you're happy with anything. Helm can be nice just to have in your hand in this matchup. Um, because it makes a really big deal if they have to play around uh, Incarnation of Salome. Yeah. Uh, and, and if Raz is afraid to put that down later into the game, that could make a really big difference. Oh, when he hits it. Oh, and the orb. Helm of the Dominator, Obliterating Orb, Jasper Daggers. So. Oh, God. This could have he been. Buy that uh, orb. So yeah, three one good. It's three one, not three zero. Oh. <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> really good. You cannot. You can't take your your. You can't take your your bat off like this, dude. It's it's recorded on a stream. Do you realize? <laughs> well, what is a stream, dude? I don't know. All of your fans yeah. are gonna just... I mean, everyone's gonna unsub to you and sub to me, you know? That's what they should do. <laughs> Why would they sub to... <laughs> okay, fine, I'll be nice, then. Fine. <laughs> Why would they Don't sub to the... Toxic. Why would they sub to the Premier Artifact Tournament Series? I mean, for so many reasons. It... <laughs> yeah, dude, where we can watch such amazing players like Barbosa and Baby Bok Choi. <laughs> dude, it's Premier. Did you hear him? I don't Premier, even know what that dude. word means. Isn't that the English league in football? Yeah. <sighs> All right. So, <clears throat> pretty uneventful. I'm sure, English people don't play football. They play soccer. Dude, that, it's called football, dude. Good for job, every, good for all, ev, ev, the entire world except for one stupid country, it's called football. <laughs> But that one stupid country is number uh, one. And so. what, dude? Your president just told, like, <laughs> uh, the population <laughs> to drink bleach, dude. No, what, what, fucking, <laughs> what fucking country? He's got you there, baby. <laughs> I, I have no comeback. <laughs> I'm just going to go uh, inject bleach and cry about it. <laughs> 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 All right, Bar Barbosa had a couple of situations there where he could have taken uh, the creep, but correctly identifying that the creep is is more important as a trump card later on in the game. Um, I'm concerned about the disciple, though. I mean, he did hit the tower for an extra like six or eight damage, but it could be make or break. Mm. Like, I mean, he has the eclipse in hand already. Exactly. Four charges. That's going to be able to. Well, it's still not quite enough, though. Uh, at any cost, obviously, would devastate the lane if you can pull it. Oh. Oh, 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 my gosh. And he can play Arcane Assault into it. He could double kill with Arcane right here. Oh, and Ra there's no way Raz isn't going to take this play. It's just it's yep. too high value. That's so good. Mm -hmm. mm. This works, too. This, this works, works too. too, yeah. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. But now he loses uh, his ogre for it in the play. But I mean, it's not really a huge deal. Gets his, gets more items onto tree. Tree is just in a great situation right now. Very safe. Boom. Yeah, that's that's a uh, that's game, dude. That's, <laughs> that's game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh god all right Thunder kills so, PA now, by the way. it isn't looking good i'll say that that was a brutal zeus
Uh, Runeterra having a $1,200 Runeterra tournament today? As I say that? Oh. Well, there you oh, go. Well. I'll, eat my I'll eat my words. Wait, why is he playing Kana into first? Oh, dude, look, an American the, being uninformed. What's new hmm. there, dude? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, of course. I didn't realize there was a bounty coming in. <clears throat> However, I don't know. I mean, I've noticed Raz and Storm when they Stormlike when they play this deck, and they have their combo. They dump everything into lane one just to make sure yeah. they go for it. But I feel like it can be a little bit scary to do so again in this particular matchup because of all the cross lane potential. I mean, sometimes he might need more than two heroes for these two lanes uh, with three heroes coming back next turn for Barbosa, so that might open a tiny window of opportunity. Came Frost on the table, but man, that tree armor. And all that health on tree, I mean, it's just useless. Yeah, definitely looking very difficult for Barbosa. Um... The one saving grace for him, no agoning sanctum in hand, so. And also no no stars of light, he hasn't seen any of those. Down comes the stone hall plate, one of his seemingly favorite tech cards. Did shine in the last in the last match. Dude, I just keep hearing Rashid's chair, and I just imagine there's a granny rocking awesome. in a chair. So. <laughs> so I get too into it when I watch these matches. <laughs> I mean, this is looking rough, though. This is looking like 3 0 central. So. The thing is, just having three Thunder Gods in hand is just massive. Yeah, for sure. If he can go for... I mean... So... Don't you die your ball? Like, I'm surprised that he's not drawing more cards, you know? like. Yeah, it, it seems like he could draw uh, with Diabolic right here, especially with so much armor in this lane. <clears throat> um... The Diabolic would also help set up for a better Eclipse. Oh no, he's he's uh, shut down out of the mana. Easy Jaggers right here. And there's an yep. easy lane. That's going to be a naturally but taken lane. Very easy. And there's not much that Barbosa can do. And obviously he's not going to generate any gold this round, so... Any hopes of hitting a uh, vestures? It ain't gonna happen. You should just leave it this like this because there's an ignite. So unless the orb comes out, he doesn't need the jaspers. Yes, but he did get bountied. So what is the? Or he got tracked. So what's oh, yeah. better, getting sure. the upkeep kill or removing track? Removing I mean, track. Good... Yeah. Probably feels, feels like. I, I think so. You don't want to give him a chance to hit vestures. Yeah. Or potentially helm. I mean, Raz will know that that's a helm because if it was vestures, it would have come down, right? Yes. Uh, I don't think you can be bluffing at this stage in the game. Uh, he would have to put it down if he had it, yeah. So he's going to know it's helm for sure. That being said, if he does find a way to go for a clear into Agonims, that uh, obliterating orb could really come in handy, but he still hasn't pulled that yet. There's the mm. stars. Yeah, that's all he needs. He would love to have an Aghanim Sanctum, but he can still Diabolic again. Like the, the, the doggies don't even matter anymore. Yes, he, and as long as if he gets an... Yeah, with the second Ignite... So here's the thing, even if he stars into Incarnation and the Helm comes down, he's probably going to be able to kill with the Eclipse um, onto these heroes, especially considering... I mean, Barbosa's going to need to pull uh, one of his 
I disagree with that very, very much. He loses initiative for that play as well as he gives up. I, I mean, he's going to have to kill the other blue hero in lane one. The initiative was so valuable right there. I, I can't help but think that must have been a blunder. Yeah, I mean, he must have thought that it was worth it to force him to choose the, between the lanes. Obviously, the choice is, well, the choice is obvious. Um, the thing is that, I mean, of course, he doesn't know Raz's hand, but Raz has seen pretty much half of his deck by now. And with an ogre, double Thunder Gods isn't really anything uh, uncommon. In any case, there is also a Blink Dagger for Raz now, so... Excellent. This is going to be tough, but let's see how it plays out. And he lands next to Treant, meaning he's going to have to use Assassinate to take this mm. down. Ooh! You know what's Raz interesting here? As well? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Do you know what's also interesting here is that... Um, Ironically, it would have been great for Barbosa if Raz had drawn an Agoning Sanctum because he could potentially like interrupt his turn, but whatever, we're past that point, so chance for Lich to do something here. I feel like Raz might have made a mistake with not counting that. Yeah. However, I mean there's just no punish for it on the table, so it kinda doesn't matter. Yeah. Even with the Sassinate on Kana he will lose initiative. He doesn't even have a creep to sacrifice anymore. I mean, I guess he could potentially drop the cloak, drop Vandal, drop cards, but the Chain Frost doesn't do anything. Oh, goodness. He puts on the Helm of Dom preliminary. <laughs> Yeah, and he's going to get the health on. He just wants to have it in this lane yeah. ready. Well, it needs to be where the tree is, that's for sure. But there's also a blink dagger if he wants to blink the tree away. And uh, again, the chain for us cannot kill both heroes in mid. So if he, if he moves away with the tree, it's actually completely fine. This tower is going to die. Even if you were to kill all of the creeps, he's, n he's not going to be able to get it without using Helm of Dominator to block one of these heroes. Because the heroes are doing seven on their own. Oh, if this was just a vesture, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a waiting game now for Raz. Oh, he uses oh. it. Oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> Why? tragic. Why? Uh, I don't know. I could see using that after you chain frost and try to prevent lethal. Even then, I don't <laughs> think it's worth it. What or is he? Is he, <clears throat> he going to favor and blink away? It looks oh, like that, that's the play. Uh, he's going to favor into mid and blink. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> oh, so now if he does. Oh, the headshot isn't lethal. Okay. No, he still loses his chain frost, but he's probably going to want to put his train protector over there and then. Mm. Dude, Raz's play has been <clears throat> so crisp. Like. Yeah, he's just given up last, though. Again, as I said, you know, he's dumped a lot of resources into lane one, so now he's going to... And now lane one is susceptible to Chain Frost next turn. Yeah, um, the tower will be down, though, so... only problem is it's still so wide. Raz just... Or Barbosa just needs a setup. If he could only have a march in this lane, then he could actually threaten to kill on all these heroes. But that Stone Hall plate on Zeus and sitting at 11 health out of assassinate range that that forces a coup mm -hmm. that Barbosa just does not have yeah <clears throat> right the chain for us gets rid of the kana so there won't be any incarnation shenanigans you know what there will be otherwise emissary yes yep. absolutely and now there is no slay man there's no helm of the dominator yeah and this is going to get the sniper into Thunder God's like, range. And in lane one, he has Ogre. He's going to have Zeus, which will make him safe to chain Frost clears. And he'll have Incarnation, and the Helm will be on cooldown. Because he stole a fucking melee creep with it last turn. So... Oh, 
Right, so will Raz winning the game on multiple lanes, on multiple uh, axes, is like more cards in hand, overall more tower HP, he's got more resources, and he's just got the better late game as it stands. Barbosa going up to 20 gold, but unlikely to matter as it looks. The helm is already at the table, it's already been used. And we're just going to be seeing a hell of a lot of Thunder Gods wrathing in any case. Right, and Raz will be able to also start the round with initiative anyway, no, in, no initiative taking cards for Barbosa. So <clears throat> looks like we are just reaching towards the end of this game, I feel like. Man, Stone Hall Plate is, is just... It's, it's matchup kind of, changing, It's man. kind of insane against Black, really. I, I, I almost start to wonder if you, you guys shouldn't be playing one in your lists for the mirror match. Oh, well, it's insane in the mirror. I used to play against Barbosa on ladder, and he had the Stonehall plates in his deck. That was when he was running Sorla, too. Yeah. All right, there's the march. Just a tad bit too late, I'm going to say. He places it anyway. Down comes the incarnation. There is a slay. It's not going to be enough because there's a second one. And the helm's down, so... Crazy thing about the incarnation, it pays for itself. It's a free spell. So... Oh, and a BM, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> this man. All right, let's see some multicasting action. This is what you guys came here he for. Doesn't, he doesn't need to. He's got all three of them, and he's clearing the entire board. He's got he a multicast. It doesn't count if he doesn't multicast. He if doesn't he, need to. Listen, if he doesn't multicast, uh, Rashid has to give his uh, no, money I to the. <laughs> there's no heals in hand, and there's no mana. <laughs> Oh god. Dude, that that's the thing about betting, Nime. You gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them, dude. <laughs> oh, that's dude, true. That awesome. I'll give you that one. Emoticus! Alright, there it is. Alright. And his double oh and look the march feeds him. The march is going to help him. Oh yeah. March is going to help him get more. There's an ignite resistance. as well. Yeah, the ignite will get two more praise. And I think the praise will do it with the emissary. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be five be more praise. Academic now. Oh, he only has one. I thought he had two for some reason. He's got the ignite. He's got the eclipse. He can pray eclipse. He can drop the Trump green well. stuff. Okay. We got card draw. Oh, we got a foresight. So you got a multi gas of foresight. There's the other prey. Oh, there's G a sanctum G as well. Yeah, this is just. Yeah, that's, that's good. You remember the game where um, <laughs> where Mez had the game? No, was it Mez? Yeah, it was Mez who blinked Mez. and then curved the. Yeah, against Sneaky. Oh, man, that was such a good game. This, this situation just reminded me of that. That's game. Double prey in the pump. And that's a 30 right there. That's a straight 30. You hate to see it. Easy peasy. All right, so. Uh, he's going for more. Well, you got to go for more. I mean. <laughs> go big or go home, right? Doesn't even pump. Right, so that concludes. That was a quick series. I was uh, expecting to stay here until later, but hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it is what it is. So Raz uh, Diva taking it 3-0. Uh, Swift and... I just can't believe I made it through commentating this whole thing without you guys spoiling the first set.
You see? <laughs> oh, dude, I, I forgot know. to tell you. Oh. No, just... <laughs> <laughs> Man, when I spoil, it's completely unintentional. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I also do it in chat during the games sometimes. So. Right, so uh, Raz going to progress. And um, as we just saw before, Path 10, having dropped down to the... Um, to the um, losers bracket, uh, this constitutes the lower bracket finals. Path ten versus Raz. And uh, holy fuck, dude! Gee, oh my god! What? Ah, oh, you just you just spoiled it. <laughs> oh yeah, but I had to do this. I had to do this. I was no purpose. <laughs> Dude, this is this is how I end the stream, man. This is how I end. Ah, amazing. Um, uh, You're gonna get to talk to Raz. This couldn't have been scripted. Like if I if I wanted to script it, I would have started laughing. Um, so yeah, uh, the IQ having progressed to the finals, uh, he's gonna be waiting there for Path Ten or for Raz, whoever wins uh, the lower bracket finals. And uh, yeah, and then. We'll see when that happens. We'll have to set up with the players and so on. So like I was uh, saying before, do contribute to the prize pool. It would be super cool to reach 200. Um, Where is the link, dude? The, you can just exclamation mark donate in chat and the link will show up. So yeah, um, dude, you don't have to, don't, I'm not, don't feel, you don't have to donate. Like just oh, donate. Fine, if you, that's yeah. fine. I, I already commissioned my emotes, all of that. There's, <laughs> oh God, it's in euros. I don't know how to math that. Well, um, yeah. So if anyone wants to contribute, anything is much appreciated. Um, and um, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be that for today. Um, we don't yeah. get to talk to us. I don't tend to invite them because they're Russian. And so I never know if they want to talk English or not. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I can't believe I spoiled it for me. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, it was going to happen anyway, whatever. Um, it always does. Though. I don't know how he expects us not to spoil it. We always do. <laughs> um, yeah, let me ask if he wants to talk. Did you ask him or should I? I'm, I'm going to ask him. <laughs> can can the amount I donate not go to the IQ if he wins? Can you give it the second place? No, I cannot do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck. Oh well. Uh, are you gonna stream? Are you gonna stream, Rashid? Not now. No, I still need to shower. I need to lay down a bit. I need to actually properly eat. Okay, let me see if someone else is watching. Um, yeah, Raz isn't answering, so it's not clear to me if uh, if they're gonna be. Uh, so, is there anyone in English speaking DNS TV? Whatever. So, yeah, guys, thanks so much for. Um, for sticking around and for watching and for supporting. Uh, I will be uploading this uh, at some point today or tomorrow, whatever, to YouTube and to Reddit and so on. So are you hyped for tomorrow's announcement? Isn't it today? Yeah, today's Sunday, right? Yeah, it's tomorrow. It's Monday. Oh, oh. It's, uh, it's not Sunday. Okay, thought... Dude, it's, it's with... Because of the quarantine, dude, uh, like I can't tell days apart anymore. <laughs> but today was Monday. Nope, it is Sunday, so it will be tomorrow night. Hopefully a bit earlier than the previous days, because it's always like at my 1 a.m. or whatever. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, I think we'll leave it at that for today, because Raz isn't answering, and uh, I think we've said what we needed to, what needed to be said. So, um, yeah. Thanks for casting with me, man. Yeah, no problem. Right. My pleasure. Cheers.